everyone, and welcome back to our live and promote broadcast from Central Field Ballpark. It's the first night of the Trinidad Triggers inaugural season. They're taking on the Counter Spring Snow Sox. And with me, I've got, when I say, one of the biggest Trigger fans in my mind, when I say Rusty Goodall. And of course, uh -huh. Rusty said it today next to me is very big. How you doing, Rusty? Oh, man, isn't it great? We're outdoors. And we are back. Now, uh, let's listen to this interview with Rusty Goodall. Well, and I'll tell you what, it's nice that uh, our, uh, our our governor has, uh, you know, backed off on, on the guidelines. If somebody wants to wear a mask, that's great, but it sure is nice to see everybody's smiling faces again. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's really, really good to see everyone's smiling faces. Now, I know the city of Trinidad has a lot to do with with helping with uh, making it the fact that uh, the Trinidad Trickers has a place to play. Uh, that's always uh, that's a good thing because we need entertainment like this in town. Oh, we definitely need entertainment with the... Uh, prospects we have for all the tourism coming in the new park and everything else i think we're only going to see bigger and bigger crowds and we got bigger and better things coming here we're in the process with the city to get the uh, grandstands and everything ada compliant within the next hopefully two years we're going to see a whole new grandstand out here with ADA accessibility and everything, it's going to be amazing. That's great. Well, you know, one nice thing about uh, about baseball, it's universal for kids as young as they can walk up until 90 years old, plus it seems like everybody likes to watch a good baseball game. Oh, man, I'm telling you, you know, every chance we get the grandkids during baseball season, they're out here. Our oldest grandson has won the bicycle, shagging balls. <laughs> Uh, we're always out here for the ball games. We've been a host family for many years. I try to help out, cook a little food, take care of the boys at the park, bring some food out here when they're uh, to feed everybody. Uh, you got to get on board and you got to help out. So, uh, just a note to everybody: if you're not part of the Trigger family and you'd like to be, it comes easy to get a hold of, contact her and let you know, let her know what you want to do. They always need families to prepare meals to help feed these guys. Guys, um, and host families every year so well thank you for all your past uh, endeavors with the triggers and thanks for showing up today uh, on this uh, first day couldn't ask for a, a nicer day for, some, uh, for baseball how about this a real spring how often do you <laughs> see a real spring a rocky mountain spring lots of moisture yeah. nice cool temperatures not too hot and, and Dave Phillips, yeah. your little face. That's it's right. good to see you more and more often. Good to see you too. This is the first remote we've done since the pandemic, so we're glad to be out and about again doing these sort of things because we were kind of missing everybody last year when we couldn't get together with everybody. So glad we're back together, and we'll, I'm sure we'll bump into each other again a lot of times over the summer and in the next year, of course. There you go, Dave. All right, let's get rest of it all. Thanks a lot for visiting with us. Let's go triggers, and with that, let's go back to the studio. Listen to KCRT and KB. And just like that, we are back. And it is great to see you. We are live on Cougar Nights. You ready for triggers? Yes, sir, I am. Indeed. And that is unanimous. Everyone I've asked so far has said yes. And that's you, my friend. Uh, we're going to do it. Uh, we are making it happen. As you know, baseball is without a doubt the oldest sport in the history of man. They used to play it using human heads, as I understand it. Uh, but we are just mere moments away from things happening. That is the handoff of the bag of sand you just saw happen right there. Uh, I don't know what it means, but it seems pretty in tenth. They are currently connecting third base to home plate. Now that is everyone's favorite place to be and we would not be connecting those first base. I'm, I'm being told off camera by the producers that they are connecting first base to home plate and just just no no trigger station that we are we are learning together here. We are going to each of us is going to learn what baseball is together and that's what it's all about it is me and you and the field um you know the year of the dog if you want hot dogs you the dog is gonna bring it up to you okay just believe in yourself the way cougar knights believes in you uh, now we are of course taking a, a quick look at the umpires you see them currently conversing about how we can all work together i assume to ensure a triggers win these snow socks are not gonna know what hit them but i'll tell you one thing is shooting at the front end of a of a of a gun 
<laughs> and there's only one way to make that happen, the trigger, okay, ladies and gentlemen, and I think that you know that that's true. Now, this is, of course, different than your normal sort of baseball stream that you might get from the Red Sox or the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, it has just a little more spice. The, the, our, our broadcast of these games have been called the... Um, They've been called the curry uh, of internet streams now. And now we're getting that music going with a little uh, bomba, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now I do see somebody has commented, Cougar Nights live on the scene. And we appreciate that because we are here. We're here together, okay? And that's where you got to go. Uh, you got to get ready for this. You're going to want it. Uh, I don't know if they're going to connect um, first base to second base. Seems like they're bringing in the line, the line connector. So they're just going to have to find their own way. But these gentlemen are professionals, okay? They may not own the hospital, but they are doctors, as I understand it. And that is what uh, that's what matters. I would let any of the Trinidad triggers perform open heart surgery on me or anyone that I love. Without fail, I'm not afraid of this, okay? Uh, and, and like I said, we're down here at the stadium, and it is smoking here. It is beautiful night. I really couldn't get any better. And these triggers are ready to go. I can see them. They're taking some pictures right now. Uh, Brad Kirby, if you need uh, your photograph taken, I suggest you check out Brad Kirby. Okay, Flint Nash, of course, is here. And we are so glad. Flint Nash, big car fan, bigger baseball fan. Uh, and so that's what's going to be important here is that as, as long as Flint's in the house, the house ain't going to burn down. Okay, he will he will save each and every one of us. If I was in a house with Flint Nash and it was on fire, I wouldn't even sweat it because I know Flint's going to make it make, make sure I'm safe first. Uh, and, they, you know, they tell him, they say, Flint, you got to put your own uh, oxygen on before you put Jay's oxygen on him. And Flint says, no. I'm going to put the host of Cougar Nights oxygen on first. Now, if you're looking, the umpires are they're pointing down at third base, and they're discussing, you know, what's going on there. And, and here you'll see them. They're pointing between first and second. <laughs> and so they're just kind of making sure everybody knows what's going on. You know, this isn't the Houston Astros. Uh, this is sort of legitimate uh, baseball, okay? Zero steroids, uh, just a little bit of CBD on that uh, Trinidad side. And on the Colorado Snow Sox side, I don't know. I assume something fine, uh, something good. Uh, and Flint Nash, uh, we know you started the fire, okay? Everybody has seen it. Um, you know, they wrote a whole song about it. Uh, it's called Dirk Commissar. And so just go listen to that song, but from the point of view of me singing the lyrics to you, okay? And, and it's going to really open up the day for you. It's going to be something where you say, you know what? I'm glad I tuned into the Cougar Knights live coverage of this game because it's wild. That's what you're going to say. You're going to be like, it's wild. This is totally different than the kind of stuff you get on TBS. And that's because Cougar Knights is no longer affiliated with TBS. We will not be, we won't work with those people, okay? They, are, they have a different different point of view than us and so that's what you're going to need to remember is that cougar nights does not represent the views of tbs uh, just keep that going uh, nor do we represent the views of phil long toyota but shout out to them um, they've been very clear we like you we're glad to have you be a part of it um you do not speak for us that's what phil long toyota said to me um you are not the voice of phil long toyota now we've we've reached a bit of a lull here and, and the, this is the, the the moment before the wave breaks it's just the crack of the bat on the on the glove uh it's just the anticipation of two teams watching themselves become men and that's what it's all about you just saw the ump give it a, 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 a light toss to a ball I, i'm not exactly sure why he wasn't trying to get it too far just right smack dab into the sweet spot okay repeat the song title please um Dirk Commissar. <laughs> that's the song title okay K-O-M-M-I-S-A-R. You're going to love it.
Okay, uh, and just go ahead and let me know uh, if you're out there and you're listening and watching this, whether it looks and sounds like garbage, because none of us know uh, we are just making our way through it. Now, this is going to be a beautiful night of baseball. If you are anywhere near Trinidad, go ahead and come on down to the stadium. Be a part of the magic and know that Jay Gillespie will embrace you upon your arrival, welcoming you into the fold like we've been family for my entire welcome life. Welcome to the park, everybody, and welcome us back to the 2021 Trinidad Trinidad season opener. Tonight they score 808 is in the, in the house. The Colorado Springs Snow Sox. Lineups for the Snow Sox. Playing shortstop, batting first, number nine, Alex Jackson. Batting second, number one, playing center field, Robert Malone. Batting three, batting third, playing left field, number 13, Thomas Jeffries. Batting cleanup, number 12, Catching tonight's contest is John Anthon. Thank you for that, Flint. And fifth, number six, Peter Bocino playing first base. That's Peter Bocino on first base, ladies and gentlemen. He will be batting sixth. Sixth slot, number four, Rob Poller. Followed by Rob Poller. He does right field for the Colorado Snow Sox. You're going to love him. Number three, Dakota Popham. Uh, Number three, Dakota Popham will be playing third base. That's going to be an exciting player to watch. Marcus Bracey. Mar- base Marcus Bracey will be playing a, a stunning second base for the Snow and Sox, but won't be. Foster Pace. Foster Pace, of course, the pitcher for the Colorado Snow Sox. We're excited to watch and his career progress. <laughs> Leading off tonight, playing shortstop number six, Keyshawn Clark. Keyshawn Clark playing shortstop. Second, number 28, playing second base, Aaron Stubblefield. Aaron Stubblefield at second base, going to be batting second tonight. Batting third, number 14, playing first base, is Zach May. Zach May on first base, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting this information right from the source. In the fourth spot tonight, number 35, Ozzy Millet. Ozzy Milena on third base. Fan favorite here. Everybody loves him. Can't get enough. Getting fifth, number 31 is your player manager playing left field, Yale Hughes. Yale Hughes, our player manager, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be out there in left field making it happen. Jordan Gonzalez playing right field. Right field is Jordan Gonzalez. This boy has an arm. We cannot wait to see what he gets done. Heading in the seventh hall, catching tonight's contest, number 12, Brian Gonzalez. Brian, the Bobcat Gonzalez, takes his place at a catcher here tonight. Pitching tonight, number 15, Aiden Ward. Aiden Ward will be pitching. This uh, going fire all night. It, it, we are in for a real treat. Number 30 playing center field is Anton Wheeler. That's Anton Wheeler. That's right. Number 30. We're getting pumped down here at the stadium. The excitement is palpable here. And now to raise the national anthem, Mr. Greg Olson.
Mr. Olson on the saxophone, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you were able to hear that. Absolutely beautiful here at Triggers Field. For opening day, we have... Councilman, Mr. Rusty Goodall. Rusty Goodall throwing out that first pitch. And joining him on the mound is Joe Carrillo, who is with our signature sponsor, Phil on Toyota. That's right, Phil Long Toyota, bringing you everything you could want. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was really beautiful, ladies and gentlemen, just the way you want it to be. We are about to get started with a little thing I have liked to dub baseball. That's right. Duo from Colorado Springs, Jackson, Malone, and Jeffries. We are absolutely making it happen. Okay, Wally Wallace is here. Uh, Curtis Wallach of the Trinidad Lounge are here. All the movers and shakers in Trinidad, Colorado are here tonight. The owners of Tease Me, Tree Me. Nay, uh, owner of Year of the Dog. It is happening, and we are ready. The balls are flying. The triggers are pumped. That is what a strike looks like. I hope you were tuned in. You know, they say, Jay, if it was in slightly higher definition, we could make out the players or the balls, but that's not what it's about. Okay. Can you see Fisher's Peak? Can you tell that there's baseball happening? Can you hear the sound of my voice? This is what we are doing here today. We are just having a good time. This is some PG to G fun happening right now. And I think that we are in for what has been called the greatest game of all time. That's right, Trinidad Triggers Baseball. Welcome home, welcome back, welcome to the rest of your life. This pitcher is looking sick with it, okay? We are gonna be examining a lot of the sort of ins and outs of baseball through this season. Uh, this is gonna be a very educational stream. That's what you're gonna need to remember. Some streams are for fun, this stream is for learning, okay, baseball-wise. Did you see the way that ball flew through the air? Absolutely stunning. want to welcome the Slav back, if you know what I'm saying. Innocuous welcome back to the fold. Alex Jackson. Alex Jackson batting for the Colorado Snow Sox. The first bat of the first game for this team, brand new team, to the Pecos League. And I'm really sorry they have to face the triggers because they are going home sad tonight. And that's just the way that it's going to be. Ooh, that's a ball one for this uh, party. I call it a party. People call it a baseball game, but not me. I just call it a good, clean, old-fashioned party, okay? Throw that trick-or-treat. Oh. Okay, well, we, and that's important to remember that there is at least a chance that we could all die here. That's what you need to remember during baseball is that at any moment, okay, there is an opportunity for a ball to fly off the bat at such a rate and speed that it kills us all. And so that's what makes baseball so much fun, the imminent fear of death. Ooh, we're going to call that one a strike, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, we are learning the rules of baseball together. I hope there's a pickle. Uh, we'll try to track down a pickle. That's all we can do is get you sort of a big uh, dill or, or maybe a bread and butter pickle uh, because that's the best way to enjoy a game like baseball. All right, the ball is coming. He shook off the call, and now here we are in for another pitch. If someone had been on base, they probably could have run, as I understand it. But then again, what are the rules of a game like baseball? Nobody knows. Uh, the, the stands are filling up, though. So if you're going to come down here, you are going to want to get a piece of this. Here comes the pitch. He shakes it off. He's ready now. Ooh, that arm, you know, and it's the first game of the first season. We're all a little, we're all feeling our way through it. You understand? Ooh, 
And here comes the pitch. All right. Just like that. He is on base. A walk uh, to start the season is fine. Robert Malone had, as I understand it, over 1,000 home runs last season. So we are really excited for that. Plus, uh, seems like maybe he's a right-handed batter. I can't, I don't know. Plunk up, that's what they say. They say plunk up. And here comes the pitch. Uh oh, and he stole a base. Uh, Snow socks are notorious thieves. Every, everybody knows this, uh, and they are starting to live up to their reputation. This is what we were expecting from them. We knew when Colorado Springs got a team that they would be stealing those bases. We just didn't know it was going to happen so quick. Uh, but we, uh, we got our eyes open for it, and that's why we're the triggers, because we are always watching. He shakes off the first one, and here comes the pitch. He was ready for that. Tried to bunt, didn't happen. That's the way it goes sometimes when you got a bunt. You're never guaranteed a perfect storm with that. He shakes it off. And here comes the pitch. And right on to the visiting team's cars. That's where we are always aiming those fly balls. Visitors park here, we say. Visitors park right in this vicinity near the bathrooms, we say. Welcome to Trinidad. He shakes it off. But here comes the pitch. Little low, little low, but we are just dialing it in here at the Trinidad Triggers. And here comes the pitch. A lot happened there. I didn't follow all of it. And that's all we could do here is learn together. Keep an eye on this. Maybe. Keep an eye on this guy at first because these people are stealing. Lock up your kids. The snow socks are in town. Here comes the pitch. A little on the outside, but that is nothing to worry about. A lot of people like it on the outside. I've always been an outside guy, not an inside man. You're not going to find me on the inside. And here comes the pitch. A little low. You're never going to find me a little low. I'm always pretty high, and that's just the way it goes here in Trinidad, Colorado. Lovely home of what is being dubbed Baseball City, USA. And here comes that pitch. Just 
little discussion happening on the mound. Uh, as you know, this is advice uh, Kim gives all of us. Uh, you're going to want to get that ball just a little bit higher if you're going to play in Colorado. We're about to get started again. I, I'm anticipating 18 strikes in a row from this Triggers team. Uh, prove me wrong, I always say. Prove me wrong. All right, we are getting settled back in. Uh, he shakes it off, and here comes the first pitch. And we have bases loaded. This is the way the Triggers like to play it on the razor's edge. It's how they shine. It's how they've always shined. Batting is number 12. This this guy's a beast. It is quite possible that we are going to see a grand slam home run right now. Is that the way we want to start the trigger season? Not necessarily. But you know, you've got to be open to all of the options that life wants to hand to you. Uh, go triggers indeed. That's all right. I would say one run is fine, okay? Ten runs, and we got a problem. That's always been my philosophy. So let's keep the opposing team to under ten. Go from there, ladies and gentlemen. It's possible if you li listen closely, you can hear the sounds of Wally Wallace's voice just below us. It's beautiful. It's like a song. Wally's voice has been compared to Cashmere by Zeppelin. And here comes the pitch. That's okay, Triggers. That's okay, Triggers. Wally Wallace did order a hot dog, sunflower seeds, a water, and a Coca-Cola. That is a man ready to enjoy this first inning of Trinidad Triggers Baseball. I feel like that was a strike. And if you agree with me, uh, do a hashtag, open your eyes, ref, uh, on Cougars social media. Once again, here comes the pitch. There it is. That's right. We're warming up. We're getting it. Say goodnight, number 12, because we just made your bed. Tony's here. Shout out to Tony watching on YouTube. I'm just here for the baseball. Here comes that pitch. Yeah! There it is. Now we are waking up. This is Peter Boche, number six for the Colorado Snow Sox. I'm anticipating a three and out. I think that might be a baseball term. No, football. Listen, there's a lot going on down here. Here comes the pitch. That's it. A swing and a miss for Mr. Rupert Boche from Colorado Springs. Here we go. Straight down the middle. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is once they warm up, can't stop firing the triggers. That's how it's going to be, and that's the way it's always going to be for the next 500 games of this season. Spread out over three months, comes about four and a half games a day. You just got to keep them guessing. That's what that's about.
And here comes that pitch. That's okay. Like I said, our goal is to keep them under 10 runs. So we are good to go. Okay, we are still well within those bounds. Everybody in Trinidad does know that Colorado Snow Sox have little to no defense. So we are going to quickly turn the tides on this. All right, here comes the pitch. Once again, hashtag open your eyes, ref. <laughs> Beautiful day for baseball, folks. That's what's known in the industry as a foul ball. Once again, hashtag learning together here at Cougar Knights, home of your Trinidad Triggers. Shout out to our sponsor, Phil Long, for making this all happen. Also, Burr Chiropractic, the official chiropractor. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Ooh, but it's looking good. The Triggers are waking up, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the Cougar Nation often wakes up. Listen to the crowd going wild. Number three is a divisive player due to a lot of his political views. <laughs> And here comes the pitch. Beautiful. You know, much like uh, the unions here at Trinidad, we love the strikes. <laughs> Interesting. That's your Trinidad triggers. Up to bat. It's go time. This is where the magic is going to happen. This is where the people are going to lose their minds. The Trinidad Triggers this season have been called the Bernie Sanders of Trinidad. And nobody knows what it means except for they have a fire in their eye and a will to succeed. And that's all we're looking for from these guys is that burning high fire that they bring to the field. All right, the snow socks are warming up. Uh, and now I think this is going to be a tremendous uh, match, okay? No doubt is playing over the <laughs> over the uh, PA system. We are just ready to have my fun. Okay, the score right now is 3-0. Uh, Colorado snow socks are in the lead. It is the bottom of the first inning, and everyone is losing their minds. Okay, this is a this is absolutely about to be a stunning example of the sport of baseball. Uh, this pitcher I'm anticipating uh, 87 balls in a row. We're gonna walk 20 batters this evening, and what that's gonna do, if you do the math, I would say that's 17 runs if you walk 20 batters, something like that, give or take. And so that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping to leave the first 17-3. Hey, Pat. You just blowing from Stupid Town? We also have the City of Trinidad, City of Trinidad Tourism Board, City of Trinidad Parks and Recreation Department, Trinidad Community Foundation, the La Quinta Inn and Suites Wellness Hotel, Eagle Rocks Fundraiser, KCRT, PBKZ Field Broadcasting, and Trinidad Historic Main Street Board. What's up? That's me. If I get vetted, 
there's been a lot of offsides calls during this game that I feel like the refs have missed. We are about to purchase a delicious hot dog from Year of the Dog. Keyshawn Clark up to bat, and I am anticipating him knocking it straight onto the top of Fisher's Peak. Everyone waits with baited breath. And here comes that pitch. Ooh, you got a swing to hit it, you know, and that's just the way that it goes. Good eye, good eye, number six. Hashtag open your eyes, ref. Do that one under the second story, as I understand it. Which is no problem. That's what the snow socks are known for. count here in Trinidad, Colorado. A beautiful base hit to start the season here in Trinidad, Colorado. Do that one for Fisher's Peak, ladies and gentlemen, for Fisher's Peak. Now for that, your hometown turned out trigger is giving up the number 28, Aaron Stubblefield. It's Mr. Stubblefield coming up to bat just like you dreamed it would be. <laughs> Hashtag open your eyes, ref. Bases. Let me ask you that. Now who's stealing the bases? We are. Welcome to hell, Snow Sox.
<laughs> They're coming stars in town. Oh, oh, oh. How much chilies on my face right now? No. A reasonable amount. <laughs> Sometimes I realize I'm not paying attention and I may get smacked in the face with a ball. Important lesson to remember as we continue to watch this energizing game. Interesting batting stance from number 28. always got to run. Sometimes you just got to take a walk. Stupid down. Three and zero in the top of the first inning. No outs.
We'll see that ball next fall. And here comes the pitch. Good eye, ref. That was a good eye. We have a little thing I'm dubbing bases loaded right here. I'm anticipating a grand slam. If there's a grand slam, anyone who comments grand slam, will, I will personally send you one thousand dollars. This is my man Ozzy on the plate right now. You can smell the fear coming off of these snow socks. Here comes the pitch. Everybody just here for the grand slams. I get it. I understand how that goes. Your Trinidad Triggers. Here it comes. I say slow right over the plate. Good eye, ref. Way to watch. This is the moment. Or you can just walk 22 batters in a row. That's 22 points. We'll take them out. We can get them here. Here comes the pitch. Way to swing the Wazi. I wish I could communicate to Ozzy that the online viewers are losing their mind right now. You've got this, big boy. You've got this. Yes! Keep running, boys! Keep running! What's up? That's a two run, two run from the Oz man. Pay no mind to the person behind the curtain. And now we're back to your hometown Trinidad Triggers, giving up for the manager, number five, Yeah! It's all happening. Just aim for the visitor parking, though. Here comes the pitch. Mm, hashtag. Open your eyes, ref. Oh, that's 
That's all right, Yale. Sometimes they just throw in perfect pitches. That's all you can do. I had no shame in it. <laughs> what a nice at bat song. And Jordan Gonzalez is a beast.
That's the end of the first inning. The first of 70, as I understand it. Uh, and so, I mean, we live here now. That's going to be it. The stream will not stop until the game ends. That's not a promise, uh, because if it was, I might very well break it. Uh, I'm going to go hit the head, and then we will be back with another exciting inning of Trinidad Triggers Baseball. Just a little bit for all those kids out there. That freaking foul ball is back in the concession stand and get a ticket in the raffle room and the bike that's over there. So we'll watch that off at the end of the year. Yeah, I do. It's funny that we let it ride that long. <laughs>
Tom Allen, the shortstop number nine, Alex Jackson. And we're back to the action. Top of the first, second, I guess, inning. Yep, he probably shouldn't have swung at that. That was obviously a strike. Obviously, the triggers are looking great this evening.
Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town?
Bogos from? Where did the ball goes from? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know there's a net. Yeah, I think that's this angle is like pretty good. I think so too. Well, it's that they were left handed batters. Yeah. Then it's possible one could be like right here. Yeah. And that's why I just. Yeah, that, that, that's going to be your best bet. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It is 3 to 2 with the Snow Sox leading your Trinidad Triggers at, at the start of the third inning known as in a lot of places as God's inning and that's that's the one that really matters let's say a little prayer here comes the pitch definitely a strike almost got that runner slipping too and that's fine you know we're looking to break some ankles here because we are the Trinidad triggers let's go live to our reporter on the field Seems like we're having some technical difficulties with our field reporter right now. That's fine. Throw the low ball, throw the high ball, just throw the ball. That's what we say here at Cougar Knights. Looking good, triggers. Don't forget to get your 50-50 tickets from Tressley Hensley down here at Trigger Stadium. That's what I'm talking about. Here comes the pitch.
each moment of the game nail biting intensity. Oh, it's a pitcher throwing a ball, but he's like green screened out. Oh, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, I see it now. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't realize what it was going to look like. Uh huh. It looks kind of spooky. <laughs> It's Grand Slam time again here at Trigger's World Headquarters. Quick shout out to our sponsors, Woody's Furniture in Raton and Safe Light Auto Glass Repair. If you need your auto glass repaired, call Safe Light. Also, the Trinidad Chronicle Media Group here in Trinidad, Colorado. Quick meeting on the mound before back to some more Triggers action.
how many tums I've eaten today, the answer is very many. Here comes the pitch. That's what I'm talking about. People are wondering, how long can the stream go if there are fluff-filled donuts at your house calling your name? And I say, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. If you are tuned in right now, congratulations, you are making excellent choices. Is that what this is? I do like that everyone's keeping a table between us. That's Aaron Stolfield. I'm anticipating a home run, and if there's a home run right now, I'm buying everyone in the stadium a beer. Hashtag check your eyes, ref. You know, I hate to see the triggers get a loss, but I love to see good baseball. Definitely tipped it. We're going to put that one in the strike column. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about right here. He's going to drop it. I was wrong once again.
Is this Ozzy? Ozzy! Everybody knows that Ozzy is the great hope here. No grand slam this time, but we still love to see Ozzy at the plate. I want Ozzy to put it in the lake or through the windshield of an opposing player's car. Huh? Huh. Is that a ski? Yeah. There, people are wondering if there are mosquitoes here. Very few, but yes. Nobody's got a natural swing quite like number 35, Ozzy. I don't remember. Yes. Still love you, Ozzy. And with that, we transition into the fourth. Metallica's playing, and a lot of people remember that Metallica is very, very against pirated music. So we don't really mess with them at the Gillespie household uh, because we like that booty. Thank you. 
That's how we do it here in Trinidad, Colorado. And for the snow socks, top of the order, number nine, Alex Jackson. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town?